What's up guys? Welcome to the I'm Just a Nerd YouTube channel. Um, I have this beautiful 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro base model on my hands that I just picked up. Um, I haven't had a MacBook in quite some time. The last model I actually had was like the late 2009 model. I actually had that for a couple years and went ahead and got rid of it went to windows and now i'm back on mac in 2020 and i just wanted to go ahead and unbox this bad boy for you guys on camera i was like freaking why not it's going to be the new machine i'm using to edit this channel so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy uh i should pull the tab oh no 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 i have this big knife right here what is going to get no let's do that tab you know what tab or knife um, tab let's go ahead and rip that tab right off and reveal this beautiful computer i mean the box alone i haven't touched the macbook box in so long well let's go ahead and get that right off yeah, you know, oh, my dog wants to check on me. Here's me trying to open this box up and he wants to sniff everything. Okay, let's go ahead. Nice. Mm, time to go ahead and just take this top right off. All right, this is way harder than it looks with, you know, a camera in my way. Almost there. Give me a minute. There we go. Oh, look at that laptop. Yes, this is what I paid my money for. The view is good enough. All right, enough of looking at the laptop. We need to actually go ahead and just pull this thing right out of the box. Again, one hand. Oh, not as easy as I think it is. Glass and metal really kind of make it hard to take things out of a box. All right, MacBook out. Let's go ahead and go right in for the cable. All right, fantastic. Cable. Everybody loves cables. Information. I don't really care. Well, let's go ahead and take this last thing out because the Apple doesn't put anything else in their boxes anymore. Can't wait for that new iPhone to come out and not even have a power brick to it. Mm, throw this away. Now I know what you're thinking. Why get this low tier base model MacBook Pro? Well, right now it fits my needs. And if you're going to buy a MacBook Pro, you really have to think about, huh, money versus needs. How much computer do I really need to do my day-to-day -day tasks? And as, as standard as it comes for video editing, this works fine for me. So I didn't need the Intel new generation chip at the moment, and I will probably need it much later on in this video editing career that I'm creating for myself, but for right now, I think this will work just fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful computer right out of this plastic. Let's rip this off. Love the Apple makes it so easy to get to the product. And as I punch my camera, my dog comes in to just greet me and see if there's anything for him to eat. And Knox, there's nothing. All right, let's go ahead and open this MacBook up. And I should have read that little pamphlet because I didn't know that the newer models, you know, they automatically turn on. So as soon as I saw this Apple symbol, I'm like, oh, oh, it's already on. Well, let's hurry and get this off. And we're off to the races. And I skipped all that because it took much longer than I thought it would. But at least now we're at the startup menu asking me to select the language. Um, definitely going to just go ahead and go with typical English here. Move all these accessories out the way. And I'm going to speed some of this up for you guys because yes uh it is a lot of boring clicking and you know what's funny about this i actually kind of read through this stuff i don't know why i don't just just hit accept south park taught me just hit accept and keep going you don't need to read this stuff if you end up in the human centipede later on eh, everybody's going to do it all right it's time to go ahead and select my language and i'm going to hurry up and speed through this process select my location 
select my Wi-Fi and then go right ahead and select all these other settings. I'm not transferring anything. This will be a brand new Mac, all new setup. And now I'm waiting for the cloud to sync. I don't really remember what I put up there for my last MacBook. I haven't used, again, a MacBook in a couple of good years. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually is still saved on there. Uh, probably just some really old files I need to delete. You know what? Instead of speeding this process up for you guys, because, you know, this, I have a very long clip of it, you know, I'm just going to give you guys some eye candy, you know. The computer is already good eye candy, but I'm going to go ahead and put something else in there for you guys to go ahead and look at and really look and, and observe. And, oh, there she is. Oh, Greta from the Gremlins. Oh, look at those lips. Look at that skirt. Oh, how low can you go? All right, now we're at the great part where it's like, I have to say, hey, Siri, hey, Siri, hey, Siri, hey, Siri. Ha, my phone activated. There, there we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, and she's gone. Uh, my Siri's actually a him. I went for the British version. I just got tired of hearing that same robotic woman voice. But let's go ahead and keep it going and keep repeating myself in these phrases. Siri is something I really don't use a lot of. I wish I could use it way more, but we'll see. Maybe the MacBook will bring it out of me. I love that everything is so new to this Mac to me because, again, I haven't had one in a long time. So setting up all these and setting up touch id touch id on the macbook is genius i can't wait to keep using my fingerprint for everything on this macbook uh including apple pay i cannot wait to just go ahead and just effortlessly just purchase things right with my fingertip and definitely going for that uh, let's go automatic i want to definitely see the night nice shift happen i mean dark mode Ugh. And definitely going to use True Tone. I mean, let's go ahead and use it. We got it. Why not use it? Don't deny me any feature. Give it to me. And now we're finally setting up the MacBook. I promise you, it doesn't take as long as this video really is taking. I was actually just reading. Again, don't read. Uh, then again. All right, it looks like we're finally at the end of the setup. Look at that screen. Finally, the screen's up for me. Finally, I'm done with all the setting up and everything. And oh, I'm so excited to finally use this MacBook, finally make some content for this YouTube channel, and finally give you guys some tutorials and some edits and, and just show you guys what I'm doing with this computer and give you guys as many tips as possible when it comes to using Mac if you're new to Mac. I've had it in the past. I have not used it in a long time. So it's like being new at, you know, the OS all over again. But, you know, in the meantime, everything else I have is Apple. So it's really not going to be that difficult for me to go ahead and jump right back on that bike and ride out into the distance with the MacBook. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, Please uh, let me know how I did in my first YouTube video, and um, I can't wait to give you guys more content. Um, there's a lot on the horizon. There's a lot coming. There's also some tips and tricks for the MacBook Pro and other reviews of Apple products and maybe some anime reactions. I mean, this will be a whole mixture of who I am as a person, anime, um, gaming, uh, tech. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching this and see you guys next time. Thank you.